So here we are again. Um, so like I said, you need you need a block of wood um, for the pen blanks. And since this is a the pen we're doing is two pieces. Um, one is the top piece with the clip. The other is the bottom piece, of course, with the ball point. And this will come apart just by pulling on it. And that allows you to replace uh, once it dries out, you can replace it. And if I can get it back in, this is the frustrating thing about um, Parkinson's, but um, you find your you find your own way to do things, right? But then that screws back in back in there, um, and the top cap goes back on, and you end up with a pen. So what we're going to do is um, cut these pen blanks. So what you need, and you can buy these at Rockler or any other woodworking place, um, different different kinds of wood. Um, some really neat exotic woods uh, like um, this purple heart or some African uh, mahogany, uh, all kinds of different wood. Uh, you can buy, um, you can also buy some stuff that are uh, made of acrylic. And this one I think they call. Um, well, they call it Renaissance, uh, but you know, these these acrylics can get very expensive. Um, you know, six or seven bucks uh, for that. Um, these are some other ones I've purchased. Uh, I think they had a sale, like you know, a dollar a piece. So I got some. I don't know some walnut here, some wenge, some uh, ash, so so a bunch of different woods. But if you have access to some wood, I'd say you could um, cut your own. Um, I usually start with something three quarter by three quarter by about five inches. Um, that gives you enough room to uh, uh, give you gives you enough room on both sides uh, for the pen tubes and the pen tubes they go in the center uh, the center of the uh, the pen and they're just basically um, seven millimeter brass tubes um, and then they're they're gonna go in the center but first we have to cut this to the right length so what I typically do is take the pen blank I lay it on the wood and I give it about a sixteenth of an inch on both sides on both sides and then we take our pencil and we just mark about a sixteenth of an inch there and then we slide in on the other side and giving it about a sixteenth of an inch here we'll give it about a sixteenth of an inch here too so then you're going to have this one for this blank and this one for the bottom blank top blank and bottom blank now one thing I do is I want the grain pattern to match up when the pen is all finished right so I make a mark an arrow indicating the center So I know when I put this blank back together, those two are going to match up, right? 
and they're they're going to end up being in the center of the pen like that and that way when you put it together the grain pattern will match and it's kind of it looks kind of cool when you do that and it, it works out so um, and another thing I do, if I have a lot of different pens I'm making, like you'll see here on the table right now, these are all pen blanks and pen kits ready to go. Um, uh, they're ready to be turned on the lathe. They've already been cut, and uh, they, they have the brass tubes inserted. So I am going to go over... Um, over to the bandsaw and cut this uh, in half and get rid of the waste. So I'll be right back. 